fresh out the oven. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. What is cracking, everybody? It's Mega Pyman here, and welcome to another look at my map video. This time for King of the Hill Synthetic Event RC2B. And yes, that means finally, King of the Hill Synthetic Event is done. It is currently up on the Steam Workshop, so you can check it out over there. You give it a vote. Give it a favorite, give it a subscribe. If you would like to see this map, possibly get into the game with the Halloween update this year, which hasn't happened yet. The uh, uh, Valve is doing something for Halloween 2019. I don't exactly know what's going on there, but possibly they will be adding more maps. And possibly, if this one gets enough votes, they could add this one but let's take a look around and see what is new and different from the last video that i did for this particular map and a lot of it has to do with detailing uh, pr pretty much all of it just has to do with detailing pretty much everything with this with this project has been detailing since i've been re-detailing king of the hills synthetic to be halloween here i've been working with blaholtzen and that G-Man. These two people have been integral to creating this map so far, and uh, they have done just... They have done so much work. It has been fantastic working with these guys. Uh, I guess, I think they're guys. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But it's just, it's been great working with them so far, and here we have the result. So, uh... I did change around some of the detailing in Blue Spawn, changed around some of the um, some of the floor textures to be this custom stone texture that Blaholtzen made, and I changed this detailing area back here. Now, previously, what I had is I had the red and immortality machine, which you see in the back of Red Spawn in Man Manor. But this is the blue side. I thought about possibly getting that reskin to be blue instead of red, but I just decided, you know what, we'll get rid of that, we'll make something more unique that fits the map a little bit better. So I put a bunch of props together for this to get this to work. Uh, some of these props, like this desk here and this thing right here, are actually from the Source Filmmaker beta files. Blaholtzen um, was able, and Blaholtzen and Dat G Man were able to figure out how to get those to work correctly for Hammer so I could put them in the map, and they look really, really good. So they're actually from some of the uh, the SFM videos, like the Meet the Team videos, some of this stuff. And it works really well, and it looks pretty dang good. Also, we have these these uh, these custom specimen jars. Now, previously, I had specimen jars in the map that were made by Charging Turnip. And while they were fine, they didn't quite fit in with everything else. And uh, Dat Juman and Blaholtzin made these specimen jars on their own. I didn't even ask for them. They just made them on their own, and it, they, they fit uh, uh, everything else that those guys have worked on a heck of a lot better. Um, not that the previous ones were bad, but this just fits a lot better. And that's the sign! That's the sign I've been waiting on. That means that the boss has spawned, and we can go take a look at that and see that it is no longer the Skeleton King. It is now... The Toastmaster! Dun, dun, dun! So, it is a custom boss, but it is also not a custom boss. Basically, it is still the Skeleton King. Uh, I've just changed the model so that it is a custom-looking boss, since creating custom bosses in TF2 isn't exactly something you can do, since Halloween bosses are, like, hard-coded to the back end. So if you want to make something custom, you either got to do a server plug-in, which only works on specific servers, or you got to be Valve and make it yourself. So, uh, the most that we could do is try and edit one that already exists, and we edited the Skeleton King to be the Toastmaster. Toastmaster is apparently a name given to the head butler during, like, a big party or something. So, that's what we have here. We have the head row butler 
the uh, robot butlers. That's a combination of science and magic built by Annabelle Sinclair, the main lady of the lore behind this map, right there, Annabelle Sinclair. And he will now run around and try and kill you, which is awesome. You have no idea how much work went into getting this stupid thing to work. As you see, when he dies, he still goes into the Skeleton King Gibbs. Um, I don't, I don't know why. Oh, it was such a pain in the buttocks to figure out how to get that to work. You have no flipping idea. But it looks freaking awesome, and that's what's important. I did have to get rid of the normal skeletons that spawn with the boss, specifically because what we wanted to do is we wanted to have uh, uh, normal robutlers. If you, if you don't know what the robutlers are, those, these are the robutlers right there. We wanted to have normal robutlers replace the normal skeletons, and then the Toastmaster replace the Skeleton King. But the way everything works, uh, when the skeletons spawn, they're given the same name of TF underscore zombie. And that is the name that I'm using through the logic of the map to change the model. So it ends up changing the model of all the skeletons, normal or not. And the problem with that is that even though the Skeleton King does have that crown on his head to uh, distinguish him from anything else, the big problem with it is that the Skeleton King uses a different set of animations than the normal skeletons. So the, the, uh, the Toastmaster's animations on the normal skeletons are all buggy and whatnot, and they look awful. So we just decided we would cut them, we'd keep the Toastmaster himself. We still do have a, a prop version of the Row Butlers over here. Also, we got this photograph to work, which is really creepy and really cool. It's got like five different songs to play from that it picks at random at random times to run through it. It is, it is awesome. And it's another thing that I'm very surprised that I got to work. It turned out to be a lot simpler than I thought it would be to set this whole thing up. But yeah, this is the uh, the model of the Robutlers that would be chasing you around to kill you, but couldn't do that quite to work. Toastmaster's back. Yes, there he is again. He's got his own custom intro music too. So we got we got custom textures, we got custom models, we got custom sounds, we got custom... We got custom. We got custom going on here in this map. There's a lot of custom going on, but, uh... Is there anything else specifically to, uh, to talk about? Change these to these, these coil things. I don't think this was here before in the last time that I took a, a made a video of the map. Um, just to try to fit the map a little bit more, the, the previous ones I was using was made by Jusa for their map, uh, CP Kalinka, which, uh, which was a Russian-themed 5 CP map. And they were good, but they just didn't quite fit the old-timey feel of the map. So, uh, uh, uh Dad G-Man and Blaholtzin made these that are like this oxidized copper slash brass. I'm not entirely sure of the texture. It's supposed to be copper or brass, but it fits a lot better. And then reskinned a couple we, we reskinned a couple of things like this ray gun up here to sort of fit the uh, the time period the map's supposed to be set in. Because while TF2 is set in the 1950s, the Sinclair Estate is supposed to be a combination of older technology that was, was re retrofitted with more modernish science. To, to try and help uh, Annabelle Sinclair with her different, her different, um, things she's doing, her different experiments. Got more Gibbs over here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get these Gibbs to actually work with the Skeleton King, but you know what? You do the best you can. We also replaced the cauldron here. A big problem that uh, I came across with this map is that, like, at one point when, when all the detailing was done, they were like, uh, I almost said 70, not quite 70. That's a problem. It's, it's fine for now. Uh, there were like 20 contributors through all the custom props that I was using. So we, we made our own versions of some. Um, others just got called 
like a the gargoyle uh, is somewhere on the map. a gargoyle has spawned. Some of the other ones, like the hearse that was over, oh, there it is, that was over here, just got called, just got kicked out, because, like, freaking 20 contributors is ridiculous. We are finally through a combination of making our own versions of things and getting rid of uh, some of the other props that, like, there was one person who had one small prop uh, that was credited to them that wasn't made specifically for the map. It was just something that I found online, so called a couple of that stuff to get it down to including myself and Valve for the Source Filmmaker beta stuff. And there's now nine contributors, which is still a lot, but not anywhere near as much as it was before. But yeah. There you go. That's pretty much everything I can think of outside of uh, uh, these dead bodies floating in the vats over here. Huddy was able to finalize the model that he was making here, and then that G-Man and Blaholtzen made these corpses. Uh, I believe they're a combination of the spy and the, uh, the, the dead versions of the Man Brothers from Hell Tower, something like that. Or at least that was the base that they built them off of. There's a couple of versions of them, and they have a couple different animations. They have this floating animation for the vat. They've got an animation that they're laying down here. And they've got different sized hats. As you can see, this guy's hat is pretty big, whereas this guy's got a pretty small hat. And uh, there's also a, a medium-sized hat. So you got different sized hats. You got different positions to put them in. They're scattered throughout the map to sort of fit the whole science experiment with undead bodies, or with dead bodies, whatnot, that's the theme of the map. We got another dude down here. Yeah, he's in a different position. A, uh, a, a flopped over position. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the map. It has been quite the journey working on this project. It went from a, a, a simple me just uh, redetailing the map to all this custom stuff thanks to Blaholtzen, Dat G-Man, and FGD5 who made this truck here and made the uh, the plaque over here. Yeah, this. Made that right there. The Sinclair Estate plaque. So, it's been interesting. I did not expect the to find people to work with like this to to wrangle together for this project but it, i think the project actually has come out pretty well i'm um, i'm very happy with the map i'm i'm very proud of the map let's put it that way i'm very proud of this project i'm very happy with how it turned out and i can't give enough thanks to the people who helped me with this it's just been it's 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 been great it really has been great. So thank you very much, FGD5. Thank you very much, Huddy. Thank you very much, Blaholtzen. Thank you very much, Dat G-Man. All of you people have been fantastic, especially Blaholtzen and Dat G-Man. You guys have been just amazing. This map would not be what it is without your help. All of you. It's just... It's just I, I can't believe that you know this that this is this is my map this 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 project is actually it got done everything we wanted to do just about got it's crazy it it's it's just crazy to me and it works all the logic and stuff it works and it's up in the Steam Workshop so check it out over there give it a vote. Give it a favorite, give it a subscribe if you would like to, if you think the map is good enough to get into TF2 possibly for this Halloween. That would be freaking amazing if it did get in. There's some steep competition. Uh, a mapper by the name of Void has made a map called Laughter, which was a, a, a reskin of their map Slaughter, which uh, was a slaughterhouse but is now like a, a carnival pier, which is pretty freaking great. Uh, UEA Crash, who's a, a pretty popular mapper, he made a Halloween version of his map, Payload Oasis, which is pretty freaking cool, and there's there's some other projects here, there, and other where for, for Halloween. So it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what Valve goes for, or what Valve does for this Halloween, for Scream Fortress 2019. We will see, and we will see if uh, King of the Hill Synthetic Event 
ends up being part of it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this entire development series of Synthetic. There may be some more videos in it, depending upon if I if I work on the, the main map, King of the Hill Synthetic, more, or this map, depending upon what may need to be fixed in the future. Uh, addressed any issues, any any nitpicks that need to be fixed up. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that this map is done. Or at least it's at the point to be released. I mean, it's RC2B. It went through a whole heck of a lot of internal versions before it eventually got to the point of RC2B to be fully released. So, it's been a ride. Thank you very much for watching. I'm the Mega Pie Man, and I will talk to you guys later.